Please welcome Critics' Choice Award nominee, Sanaya Sidney. It's so powerful, to, welcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's so powerful to watch a scene like that between you and Will Smith, knowing how close the two of you became, you know, before filming, on the set, afterwards, and how I know he's been so nurturing to you and is such an easy guy to be around. What was it like to then have to get into that ultra emotional, vulnerable mode for a scene like that, both of you? Yes, honestly, Mr. Will gave gave me so much space and time to, um, in a way, get angry. You know, I mean, the, the situation that was happening for Venus and Richard at that time, getting to talk to Isha Price and Lynn Jarrett Price, uh, Venus's sisters, you know, I asked them, I was like, do you remember this day? What was Venus feeling? And uh, pretty much he just told me, you're 14, how would you feel if something you love so much was stripped away from you and you were told that you couldn't do it anymore? Um, how would you react? And I just kind of went off of that emotion and um, just kind of connected to Venus's heart and I started from there. And then every time I saw Mr. Will, I was like, oh, I'm gonna hit him with those tennis balls on <laughs> the ball machine, I'm just gonna let it rip. You know, you've, although you're, I think you're 15? Yes, I okay. am. You've already done so much. You were in Fences. You were in Hidden Figures. You've done TV work. You've been acting for, I think, 10 years professionally. Yes. But what gave, did you think, despite all of this experience that you have had, that you would get this part? Or, did you, or were you unsure whether you would book it? Honestly, I was just excited to even audition. I remember hearing about this movie, and the first time I heard about the film, I was like, oh my gosh, I hope I get an opportunity to even audition. Um, I was just excited. You know, when you love something, you're just like, okay, I'm just gonna do everything I can. I'm gonna put 100% into it, and you know, we'll see where it goes from there. And I went a really long way, and I, I learned so much about Venus, and I connected to her heart. That's what made me fall in love with who she is was her heart. And I was just like, oh, I want to play her so bad. I want to tell her story. And then, you know, that last, you know, chemistry with Mr. Will, I was just like, even if I don't get this, thank you so much for letting me share this space with you. Like, getting to be in her shoes today was everything. That's a great attitude. Um, I know that You've spoken about the fact that there was a point during the movie when you and Demi, who plays Serena, you actually did get to meet Venus and Serena. At what point during the process was that? Was it during filming? And if so, how did, if at all, did that change the way that you played Venus? Did you learn something new by actually having face-to-face -face interaction with her? For sure. It was probably, I'd say, three weeks into shooting. So I was a nine-year-old Venus. And you know, when you talk to someone, they see you in a different light. They see you in a different perspective. So certain things that her sisters would tell me is something that not even Venus saw in herself. And then when I met her, I was like, oh, this makes sense. This is why they say she is the way she is. But she's just full of life, and she's bubbly, and she's just this person that you're like, whoa. She has this confidence to her that's like when she walks into the room, it just lights up the world. She's literally Venus. Like, that's, <laughs> she's a goddess. <laughs> um, but it definitely did change a lot. And how she was when she was a nine-year-old kid is how she is today. And I was like, you know what? I'm a big kid too, I love you. <laughs> it's shocking to learn that you and Demi did not play tennis before making this movie because I know there's some digital trickery once the ball is hit and all that, but you two have the form down in this movie. But then I was doubly shocked to learn that like me, you're lefty, yes. but Venus plays righty. So you had to learn how to play tennis using the wrong hand. It, are, in a way, are you almost happy that you hadn't played tennis before at all because you, didn't, you weren't used to playing with your left hand, you weren't used to playing with any hand? Right, <laughs> right. I, it was funny because when I was auditioning, 
I wanted to say I, I had tennis experience, so I started learning tennis, and I was like, you know, I remember the first question my coach at the time asked me, he was like, do you want to start, you know, left hand just to get comfortable? And I was like, mm, no, no, we can just start right-handed. Let me just become her. And it was just me over and over just getting um, in the comfortability of being right-handed in the first place because it felt a little backwards. But then after a while, I just let myself like go to a place where I was like, okay, you know what, I'm, I'm capable, so I'm going to definitely try. Mm. And I trusted myself. It's amazing. I want to shout out um, Pamela Martin, who is the editor of King Richard, who is an Oscar nominee, who won the Editor's Guild Award tonight yes. for editing King Richard. And the, I really think it's because of that climactic Venus tennis match, you know, and the way that is edited. That sequence is, is magical. What was that like for you to film it I imagine in so many different shots piecemeal, and then what was it like for you to see it edited together as the thrilling and exciting match that it is in the film? Coolest experience of my life. Cool, like, honestly, from being in the beaded look, off the bat I was like, whoa, this is like life changing, this is like history in the making. But, you know, from putting on the Reebok pumps and like, getting into the mode and just being cool. And that was like the highlight of the day. And then they were like, okay, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna do this shot, this shot, and this shot. And immediately something just clicked and I was her. And there were so many different montages of what would happen? Should we try it this way? It was a big collaboration, it was so beautiful. Um, and then seeing it all together, I was just very proud. It makes me teary-eyed thinking about it because I remember the hard work and dedication we all put into that day. Absolutely. I read an interview that you did, I think it was a while ago though, like when the movie came out, and I think someone asked you, has Richard Williams seen the finished product? And you were basically like, not sure. What about now? Has he seen it? Not sure. <laughs> Mr. Richard is one of those people where he's very like, I'm, I'm done, I, done, I did my part, you know, I was, I've been in the spotlight, I've done what I can, I'm ready just to be an old man and be with my grandchildren. That's, that's the person he is, but Serena and Venus will ask him and he's like, I know, have I seen it? And you're like, okay, okay. <laughs> would, you, would you encourage him to watch it? Uh, <laughs> a few words you know just to see how you would feel like but like mr. will says is that moment when you realize oh man I'm actually playing a real-life person and they have to actually watch this that is like mr. Richard has no filter and you're like mr. will you did an amazing job but does Richard Williams think so right. <laughs> well you made all of us look at that entire family in a very different light, and I'm so glad you made the movie, and you did a fantastic job. Thank you so much. Sanaya Sidney. Thank you, guys. Everybody. Congratulations. <laughs> Stay right there. As they say on the morning shows, switching gears, <laughs> we now have one of my absolute favorite performances of the entire year, and that is Simon Rex in Red Rocket. Let's take a look at a scene from Red Rocket. <laughs> 